Well, I'm the camp nurse here at the burn camp, and I helped start the burn camp uh, in 1987. Uh, in 1987, we were seeing that a lot of the children that we saw in the clinic were not uh, uh, wearing their pressure garments and not uh, doing exercising like they were supposed to be doing. They weren't playing outside, not going to the local swimming pools, and not doing normal kid things. And we felt that we could maybe help them along in doing that. Um, and we approached Dr. Slater at the time about possibly starting a summer camp. We heard that some other burn centers in the country were trawling it as well. So we trawled it for three days and uh, fell in love with the idea. And uh, I fell in love with actually seeing the kids be kids. We, they weren't sick anymore. We, they weren't, you know, we didn't have to force them to do exercises. They, I mean, swimming is not an exercise. I mean, it's an exercise, but it's, we didn't have to force them to do it. It wasn't a, a trial, so it was, it was fun. Now, it's, um, at that time, the children were only coming for two years. Uh, we, we thought that coming just two years, they would, uh, if we had them coming every year, we would have too many kids coming. But uh, now they can come back year after year after year until they're 17. Um, we found now that coming back every year after year, we can see them grow into adulthood. And they come back as counselors now. And, and uh, uh, Crash is a counselor that was a camper. I just interviewed you. Yeah. And uh, we have a number of counselors now that are counselors. Oh, that, were, that used to be cancers, campers, and uh, uh, one camper, or one counselor is studying now to be a pharmacist. Uh, one, there's a, uh, one of our campers just joined the Navy. So a lot of our campers are growing up to be wonderful adult human beings. So I like to think that perhaps our camp has helped them become, you know, good adults, you know, so it's, it's nice to see them grow up and be good people. Oh, what are well, the, the camp is just a safe, a safe place that everyone here has the same kind of, has the same kind of injury, um, that everyone here has had a burn, so that they've all um, can say, I have a scar and that they all have had an injury of some kind that they can all say, I have this thing that looks different on their body and they don't have to be stared at. No one here will just keep staring at you and wondering what that thing is on your arm or on your face or on your leg or whatever. Whereas out in the world or at school, someone might continue to stare at what is that thing on your arm and and wonder. Here, if someone wants to know, how did you get that on your arm, they'll just say, how did you get your burn? And we feel comfortable in saying, oh, I burnt myself from a grease fire or whatever it might have been. And no one's going to make fun of you here. So it kind of leveled the playing field for all of you. Exactly. And it's comfortable. And, and whatever you say in group here or whatever you say here is safe. And we know that no one's going to make fun of us.